as inflation increases all across our country, President Biden and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi are working together right now to quickly put together a new stimulus relief package for millions of Americans. Friends, this is your fourth stimulus check update. Remember, I am here every single day to support everyone in this community, including all seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries. I am your daily advocate, and I want everyone to stay up to date on all of the breaking news in Congress. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and with your friends. If they need more honest stimulus news information, also, stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how to enter tomorrow's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. Um, that they published a sort of transcript of with Fra that Frank Luntz, um, your favorite pollster, held in one voter no says... No issue with Frank Luntz. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and one, one voter says, I just want to send a message. I think the Democratic Party is nuts at the moment. And the only way I can send that message is with my vote. And then another voter responds to that, yeah, the progressives have taken over the Democratic Party. Um, I just want you to respond to that and to the broader criticisms that the administration is being moved too far to the left and that could present challenges down the road for you. Well, I'm not going to respond to individual people in focus groups, um, but I will tell you that um, the president's view and our view is that uh, his agenda is one that is broadly popular in the country uh, among many progressives, but also among many moderates and, frankly, many Republicans who are maybe not sitting in this zip code, but are members of the public writ large. Um, and that's because uh, negotiating the price of prescription drugs is something people think is long overdue. Uh, that's because a lot of people can't afford the cost of childcare. It is prohibitively expensive. That is why two million women, in part why two million women are not in the workforce. A lot of people don't know how to afford elder care, especially when they're uh, paying for also for- On one level, the story of President Biden's first year is a simple one. Americans feel worse about this crisis and the economy than they did earlier in his term. And his ratings have suffered greatly for it. But there are also millions of Americans that demand that President Biden give more attention to inflation. There are many other reasons why Americans are very upset and frustrated at President Biden, including not providing enough stimulus relief payments. Friends, I know that many of you are very frustrated and also disappointed at President Biden some seniors have even stated that it seems like Biden is distracted and not focusing enough on getting more financial relief sent out. So friends, what are your thoughts on President Biden and him providing stimulus relief payments to everyone? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Many Americans responded to a poll and agreed that Democratic lawmakers and President Biden are not handling America's top issues well enough. Even within Biden's own party, it's inflation where his fellow Democrats give him their lowest marks compared to many other issues. Our lawmakers should definitely make sending out more relief money their top priority right now. There are millions upon millions of Americans that are financially struggling and hurting all due to this crisis. And what we need is that Congress to approve a fourth round of stimulus checks this month. There is some good news everyone. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has also announced that she is working on developing another crisis relief package. Nancy Pelosi has said that to revive President Biden's stalled Build Back Better package, Democrats may need to rebrand and make big changes to the massive climate and social spending package. Now this is very big news because we are finally seeing lawmakers restart negotiations on President Biden's legislative agenda. In a news conference, President Biden had suggested that the House passed Build Back Better Act may need to be broken up into chunks and then pieced back together to see what could win support from Senate Democrat Joe Manchin, whose opposition derailed the $2.2 trillion package last month. 
Once again, House Speaker Pelosi took issue with Biden's use of the term chunks, but agreed with his assessment that the package would need to be changed. Pelosi joked and told reporters, so what the president calls chunks, I would hope would be a major bill going forward. It may be more limited, but it is still significant for the American people. Now friends, I know that thousands of you are wondering what would be changed in President Biden's Build Back Better bill. Nancy Pelosi rattled off the major pieces that she would like to see preserved in a revamped spending package, which she said Democrats may have to rename. First on her list are hundreds of billions in provisions to combat climate change, something that President Biden said that he believes he can pa something that President Biden said he believes he can push through the Senate. So friends, what do you think should be removed from President Biden's Build Back Better bill? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Pelosi also pointed to provisions expanding health care coverage for millions of Americans and lowering the cost of prescription prices. Speaker Pelosi said she also does not want to give up on the provisions that help children including universal preschool and the expanded child tax credit. She had told reporters, we have to have care at home, whether it's for children or older siblings or parents. There are big chunks of the bill that have to be contained in the new bill. This is good news for millions of Americans that have received expanded monthly child tax credit payments all throughout last year. Senator Joe Manchin had voiced concerns about some high-earning families receiving the monthly child tax credit payments. Many of our lawmakers are very worried about whether there will have to be new requirements to receive these checks. Speaker Pelosi also appeared to push back on a proposal by some of her vulnerable moderate members who have suggested that House Democrats should break apart the massive Build Back Better bill and then hold a series of votes on individual pieces. Friends, the keyword for this video is cloud. If you would like to enter tomorrow's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like this video, comment below this keyword and any keyword of any video you watch, and please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Well, friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who's watching and I greatly appreciate all of you. Please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much friends and have a very, very blessed Thursday.